Yeah. So uh, you. this is your first time showing here in Washington. So yes. how do you think the audience is going to be a little bit different? I know you've been in Dallas and some other cities. So what do you expect the crowd to be? How do you expect it to be different tonight? Um, you know, I actually uh, I came to Washington a couple times this year. I, I think, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not sure if there's such a difference. I, I think, I, th I, I, I think um, women who are here, you know, embrace fashion. And I think that's one common ground that all women have from so you know all the places I've visited. So, you know, I, I and I really appreciate that. Um, and I know that from interviewing you earlier in the year, you took yeah. a lot of inspiration from grim fairy tales, and I think it's really interesting how you yeah. find inspiration from such bizarre and interesting places. I understand that you have some interesting inspirations for this collection. Can you tell us about those? Well, this this collection was inspired by artist Carrie Donovan, who I saw in Boston last year um, for exhibit. And I thought it was really amazing because she was about taking daily objects, such as a plastic cup or straw, and making them into these amazing sort of huge installations that don't look like their original materials. And I thought that was a really interesting concept. And that was mixed with a little Tim Burton, <laughs> which I was watching at the time on Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite movies. So in this case, it was taking a floral, floral print and blowing it up in such a way that it almost looks skeletal. And it's about taking you know, the expected and making the unexpected. You know, the sculpture element on the shoulders became you know that sculpture you know that literally the sculpture inspiration and the stitches remind me of Sally that character and these are all individually seen pieces that Sally was the I'm sorry she was the character in night and night nightmare before Christmas the and, you know, yeah with lots of stitches on all her body parts and I thought that was a really cool way to incorporate color in a black and white dress yet you know in sort of update a traditional silhouette